Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. In midday and midweek trade, the major U.S. stock averages remain in the red. Joining me today is Alan Valdez of DME Securities. Alan, good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me. Rami, thanks for having me. Well, it's been a while since I've spoken to you. Uh, we continue to see uh, record highs for the Dow as well as S&P 500, but we are in negative territory today. Now, considering all the fundamentals and the latest batch of U.S. economic debt releases, what do you make of this rally that we're seeing? Well, you know, you're right. I miss talking to you so much. But uh, as far as the rally goes, you know, you expect to see a little pullback. I mean, every day we were breaking new highs, both in the Dow and the S&P. Uh, so you expect to see people take a little money off the table. You don't make any money unless you sell something. So you expect to see a little profit taking going on. I'm not surprised to see this. But, you know, I strongly believe that with the Fed injecting $85 billion into the market every month, and that's not even counting leverage. I mean, by some accounts, there could be leverage five to one. So you're talking close to a trillion dollars in the market uh, on a monthly basis coming in here. So I do believe this market's going to keep going up as long as the feds are here and they're going to stay here. And that's why you see the play. So many of these stocks that people are getting on are liquid stocks where they can get out real fast in case the feds say they're not going to do this anymore. But I don't see it stopping anytime soon. And it's interesting because uh, prior to these uh, continued gains for the equity averages, we heard murmurs about a correction or a pullback in equity averages. But it, it does appear as though we continue to break through technical levels. Yeah. So uh, going forward the rest of this week, in the short term, we have central bank rate decisions out from the ECB, BOE, BOJ, and of course that big U.S. jobs report. So in the short term, what can we expect? Well, you know, you bring up a good point, because if you look at the groups individually, banks are acting horrible. Industrials, no one's hiring or building factories. So, I mean, there is a really, if you look internally, there is a lot of weakness. But at the same time, you can't fight the Fed. And so I think what's going on is at any time, this tape up here, 70% of that is all program trading. So they bounce off resistance and support levels. So people that are looking for that major correction where you used to get, say, 20 years ago when retail clients would all jump out a window and sell everything, you don't get that anymore because the, the programs take it down to a level, and if they can't really break through with a vengeance, they just take it right back up. It's that constant churning and trading going on. So I think for the near future, you're going to see similar sell-offs like today, nothing major, a little small, and then just market will fade right back up. They drift right back up, and I think that's going to continue as long as the Feds continue to inject $85 billion into the market. Because we saw with Greece last year, with Cyprus this year, it's just a little bump in the road. Now if North Korea all of a sudden decides to do something major or something like that, that could change the whole complexion. But I don't see that really happening. And Alan, you bring up an important point. The environment is certainly different now with uh, computer trading, and it is different for retail investors. Mm -hmm. But given everything you've mentioned, as well as the uh, geopolitical risks out there, what sectors are you looking at, and what are you staying away from? Well, I, I still like techs. I think techs are a great sector to be in. I think healthcare is great to be in. You see the healthcare stocks doing well. I mean, Obamacare is still in flux. We don't know if they're going to dismantle certain sections of it. We don't even know if it's going to be implemented totally next year. It could be put off for a few years. So I think healthcare is a good thing to look at because it was so beat up. That's acting well. Those two sectors especially. But anything liquid, because that's where the programs are going. That's where the people are going now. It's not so much retail, but you're seeing the big funds get into the liquid stocks again. So I think that's the play you want to look at. Just in case you got to get out, you want to be liquid. Okay, Alan. Well, thank you as always for all your insight and analysis. Thanks, Have a great day.